this is indeed uh, a great opportunity for us to have a close interaction uh, with him. And now, uh, this is going to be a short program because uh, we're going to give you uh, an opportunity also, uh, at least half an hour, 30 minutes for that, to ask questions, at least one question each, please. Because uh, the meal is waiting for us over, all over the place, all over the compound. Uh, we have the Filipino community, we have the Malayalam community, the Tamil, the Sri Lankan, African, Goan, Pakistani, Mangalorean, Arabic, to name it, you have all those places, so you will have a chance to taste uh, uh, the different uh, meal and food uh, prepared uh, for you and for uh, our Lordship Bishop. So we're going to uh, pass the mic around to whoever wants to ask a question. Uh, please uh, do so. Just uh, a short yeah. question. But of course, uh, yes, again, Bishop. Nakatabing naman pala si brother. Dear faithful parishioners, dear brother priest, I have spoken during the mass. Now I want to listen to say that I can answer. But uh, I wish again to thank you for this uh, opportunity to meet you also outside of the church. Uh, today I thought someone it's impossible <coughs> to touch all the thousands of people coming today to church. So the understanding that they cannot bless individually each one who is present now. But take this uh, moment of interaction as a moment of blessing for each one of you. I assure you when I'm praying, as I said in another occasion of celebrating the Eucharist, I'm always offering this also all the faithful throughout the Vicariate. To you all, I simply wish you now a uh, good evening. If you do like the youth that does during our meetings in Ras al then uh, there is no problem to fill the half an hour because they have all kinds of questions to ask the bishop. If I can give an answer, I will. But otherwise, I will tell you uh, I can't. Okay. Please uh, feel free, because many people sometimes I think, if I meet a bishop, I would like to ask him this question. Now, the floor is open. Eh? Dapat may nakaredy na talaga magkatanong. Parang hindi mawag ba siya ora? Good evening, Bishop. Good evening, Father. My name is Shiva, and I come from India, Bangalore. I just have one question which I always wanted to have for the church. We have so many communities and so many people uh, coming to this uh, church for different for a different masses. Is it not possible for the church to kind of extend a little bit so that during the mass there is no dissidence of the sound and the dissidence which happens? It's very difficult for us to kind of uh, hear the mass from outside that we cannot fit into the church because of lack of space. Is there any term to expand which will help the public and the Christians across the Expand. Thank you for this question. Because the issue of uh, more space, more worship places in Dubai is an old one, and I'm working on it since years. But of course, we need uh, also the other side who is giving us the land of the permission to do it. Now, if you are speaking around regarding the compound here, uh, it might not be resolve all the problems. Of course, what we can do is to extend the shade, or I don't know what. Uh, but you you have seen it this afternoon. The traffic situation here around the church compound is in such a way that we cannot extend here. It will even create more problems than we have already. The only solution is that okay, you have to support me through your prayers or through your relationships you have to the authority that we are getting land for the construction 
of a new church or new churches in the region of uh, Abu, uh, Dubai. That's the only solution I see for a uh, long term. Now, can we do more here on the compound? We may have to speak about that with the parish council and the people who are living here. But uh, we, we are simply reaching the limit of the place we are here, looking at the hundred thousands of people who are in the region of Dubai. In this day and age when, uh, when all in the modern generation, the traditional methods of the church don't reach out to the youth and uh, we are not able, I, I believe, as a parish to reach out to the youth, they are not, they are not enticed by the church. So uh, how do you suggest that, you know, through these new day and age, to our fathers and all of us, uh, entice the youth to come more and be more active in the church? That is a question many parents have and those calls on the bishop and the priest and the priest. Uh, we have to be clear about there is in the history of it, each individual life uh, a, a phase where there is a certain distance to, to the church and the religion, even of pious people. We have to be realistic to that. We, we see it here, we see it in other parts of the world. Now how can we improve it? That's an, another question. Of course, <coughs> within the parish there are uh, youth groups uh, which uh, try at least to animate, but uh, my problem I see very often throughout the week career is that it is a limited number of already well uh, socialized uh, Catholics uh, the question I have is regarding those who are a little bit distant, how to get them back to a more active life. Of course we have, uh, for example, the teen retreats and similar things in Ras al which are uh, a very good thing, but of course we are reaching only a small percentage of youth, uh, be it the teens or later the young people. There, our means are limited. We have organized years ago, and we do it surely again, the, these youth uh, gatherings on the national level or even international level. But that doesn't resolve the problem because my concern is how can we better integrate young people, youth, in the normal activity of the parish and also uh, offer maybe more opportunities of prayer forms which are adapted to the, the respective age without leading them in a completely new world, but to, to build a bridge which helps afterwards us to follow in a better way, for example, the Holy Eucharist or whatever it is in the later life. One of the best, the best means is still to, to ask young people to take over a task within the par parish. When you give them a task, they may also be more motivated to be active in other fields. My name is George. I am coming from Kerala. The same region, all of the UAE, all Emirates have church for worship. Which is a demand not getting. These people more bringing in this our activity going. So if we are getting the church, they will go to come to pray and they will do the activity. There is no church in Ajman that you say, you know? There is... Yeah, uh, regarding Ajman, it's the same maybe through uh, 
somebody even called Mark Wayne, where we have a worship place, but the provisorium. In Achman, I can only tell you, I have already written more than once to the ruler, asked for an audience, and we are working on that, and even at present, uh, where I can present the request and explain the situation. In the writing, I have already done it, even more than once. Uh, the rest we'll see. I was in touch with some influential persons who want to help me to get through. But I tell you, things look sometimes easier from outside than when you are on the process to, to do it. Uh, but I, I promise you, specifically Achman is also in my heart and I will try again even if I don't get, uh, haven't got until now any reaction from the uh, ruler's office. Good evening, uh, Bishop. My name is John Afonso. I'm from Goa. My question is regarding this uh, daily Bible reading, which we, this is books which are printed. Uh, more, some, uh, some readings are not fully printed, you know. Uh, yes, uh, shorter versions are given. Is there any way from, uh, you know, in future, rather than printing the shorter version in this daily Bible, uh, the complete readings are printed instead of uh, uh, just printing the shorter versions. You are speaking about uh, the, the book we have, uh, we are selling at the beginning of the year, at the end of the year. Huh? Bible Alive, huh? Yeah. Well, okay, I can uh, give that uh, to the to, to those who are doing the work. I can't tell you what is the reason. Maybe sometimes uh, the problem is, especially during the Lenten season, when we have the long stories, for example, of the Susanna, there's simply no space to have it on the, on the two, one page. I think that's the main problem. Uh, but, uh, we can speak about that with the editor, but I think they had always the principle to have one page per day. Eh? And uh, then we have another problem. For, for me, I, am, I have already a certain age. For me, already now, it's too small to read. Uh -huh. If we put small text, then they have to, to, to choose smaller characters, and then we, it's no more read, readable for, for normal people. But uh, we'll have a look into the matter. I understand the question. By the way, even this evening we had a shorter version of the gospel. Good evening, Bishop. Uh, I would like to know what is your biggest goal for this year for the diocese? What is the biggest goal that you have for the diocese this year? Yeah, I'm following the, the, the mainstream of the church and that is surely the year of mercy. I don't like to put uh, all kind of different teams. I'm willing to follow a little bit the mainstream that has been given us by the Holy Father for the Holy Year now. What it means afterwards in the parishes we have already spoken among the priests. Uh, of course, the work has to be there. And I can tell you in many, many parishes also of our, of our big career, there's a lot of work to do regarding reconciliation, sometimes within the groups, within the families. Uh, there is a lot to do still in the deepening of the understanding of the sacrament of reconciliation. I do not mean that it means uh, to go to confession every week, but to deepen the understanding what it means to approach the Lord in the sacrament of reconciliation to be uh, really uh, in peace with the church, in peace with, uh, uh, with, with God. Then, of course, there will be work to be done 
with the top comment which has been published today in Rome, the post-synodal uh, exaltation of the Pope in following the, uh, the synod of bishops regarding the life of the family and of the marriage. Uh, I, it, it can, we, I got the text yesterday. It has 250 pages. So don't expect that I had already the time to study it because today I was the whole day fully occupied by the pastoral visit. But a, a, a short glance on it showed me there is a lot of material which I can only recommend on which we have to work. By the way, it is connected also in some parts to the main theme of this holy year. Be merciful and you will be showed mercy that we can live that in a real way in the different aspects. Uh, I'm thinking also to reach out not only to the people who are coming to us, we should be more open to those we have gone to go to for them because they are not necessarily running to the church. And I'm grateful to all those individuals and groups who are already doing that in a marvelous way. Others, maybe they can learn it. If you do that, we have to do even more than only this year. Huh? Okay. Good evening, Hi. Um, Bishop. My name is Francois Philippe. I come from Cameroon. So, my question is Is it possible? to add one more mass in the week from French because we have only on Saturday we have one mass one mass in French so in all the week is it possible to look how we can add one more mass in French thank you in French you say? yes in French okay, we'll speak to that to the parish please because the, the mass timetable basically is done on the local level. Of course, in, introducing a new, uh, an additional mass, language mass or other, requires then the approval of the bishop. But I am waiting that they will have to work it out on the local level, also regarding the availability of the priest. Uh, as uh, right now, of course, we have the chance that there is one more, one, more than one priest who speaks French. And that was not always the case here in Abu Dhabi, uh, in Dubai. Uh, that we have also to, case, to, to keep in mind because the, the one, the French uh, speaking priest on Saturday, for example, has to go to, to Jebel Ali is not necessarily always uh, available. But I leave it to the parish and we can speak about that when we have our meeting uh, towards the end of the pastoral visit when we are addressing the pastoral issues of the parish. Thank you for the... Any last question? Good evening, Bishop. Uh, my question is, uh, we have noticed that like, you know, uh, mostly there is a lot of uh, theology uh, influence on the sermons, uh, which I think even the youth will agree with. Uh, so how can, uh, uh, because uh, the sermon is an integral part of you know, understanding uh, and helping us spiritually to grow. So um, how can that be improved upon? I, I didn't check. Theological influence on the sermons. Did I understand in the right way that the feeling is too high or what? But uh, it's theoretical, not sufficient or what? Yeah, yeah I mean uh, it is uh, something that doesn't help us grow spiritually by listening to the sermons. Okay. Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> I can only tell you that regularly during our priest meeting, uh, addressing the issue that uh, also following the present Holy Father, 
that the homily should be uh, done in a way that it is understandable and that it helps to deepen our faith. Of course, throughout the year, you will have you will have You will have sometimes sermons which are uh, more theoretical and less close to the real life that we cannot avoid. If you read the gospel, you may even expect, make the experience there that not all the texts you are meditating in the Bible are in the same way close to the daily life. But I agree, uh, each one of us, including the bishop, we have to make more efforts to give uh, bread which is nourishing the daily spiritual life of the people. Uh, thank you, Bishop. Uh, I think uh, it's really nice to, uh, to continue the day, but uh, we will give our Lordship uh, a break now. And you could imagine from 6 o'clock, as early as 6 o'clock in the morning, he has, he has been visiting all the different masses and the diff meetings with the different groups. Yeah. So uh, we will give him a break now. And are you all hungry? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, Bishop, thank you. Uh, your Lordship, thank you for your wisdom. And uh, I guess uh, we have one more question from Sister Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not a question. It's just, my dear Lord Bishop, on behalf of all of us, we want to thank you because you gave permission to all the parishes to have the door of mercy. That was your decision. Thank you, my Lord Bishop. If I can invite all the uh, representatives for the different communities to come forward, uh, we will have a general blessing uh, of the food, and then later on we're going to share the meal all over the church. Bless us, Lord, and these your gifts which are about to receive from your goodness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Enjoy all this food. Okay, good evening.